I think it's a great honour. Um, I've accepted the honour on behalf of not just myself, my family, and uh, the team of people that work with me on a daily basis. And uh, it's come as a surprise. It's come with embarrassment, but uh, it's a great privilege and honour to receive it. And uh, I'm grateful to everybody that uh, put my name forward. And uh, it's a big day. On behalf of Rotherham Council, can I welcome you all to Rotherham Town Hall for this very auspicious occasion. To be conferred with the freedom of the Borough of Rotherham is a huge honour. As I like to by the fact that since 1974, only 14 individuals and two organisations have been bestowed with this award. His vision for a football stadium has uh, given employment to people, it's helped to rejuvenate the town centre and everything's a plus plus and uh, really want to congratulate him and it's a well and truly deserved award that he's received today. When a football team's doing well there's a real uh, buzz in the, uh, the town, not everybody obviously supports football but I think it, uh, everybody gets behind the local team and uh, the run that they've had in promotion to Division 1 and the Championship has uh, really boosted Rotherham and it's uh, good news that we uh, we always want to portray Rotherham as. I think it's the, the least the man deserves, isn't it? You know, there is Tony Stewart, my boss, and, and Tony Stewart, the chairman of our football club, and Tony Stewart, the owner and managing director of ASD Lighting. But, um, you know, to Steve Evans, over, over two and a bit years, he's, he's become a little bit deeper than that. Um, the chairman often refers to it as partners. Um, I think he's right in every, every respect. Um, I love working with him first and foremost and working for him and if you look at the um, what he's done for the town, for the borough, um, employing in excess of 200 people on a, on a daily basis and treating them as, as good as any employer could wish to treat the staff um, and another probably 100 people at the football club that's, that's employed directly and maybe more if you include the community, probably in excess of 200 and, um, and he leads by example every day so it's... Uh, it's a fantastic honour, an honour bestowed on by the Rotherham Borough Council and I, and I think everyone in the borough, everyone, um, agrees that this is the least that should be done. Well, I've never seen, you know, I came from I Green, and I Green is near Sheffield, but it's also near Rotherham. I was actually born nearer to Rotherham than Sheffield. Um, and I've always been a South Yorkshire lad. Um, and I think, you know, Rotherham is the biggest part of my life certainly on the business side, um, employing 200 people in Rotherham, I'm proud of that. I'm proud that we've got a football team now that's in the championship. Um, and it just shows that, you know, from an ordinary working class guy, how things can develop as you go through life. And it just gives a message to anybody that you don't need the money. It helps part of it, but you need the drive, the passion, and I guess the vision. And, uh, and a good team around you, and I've obviously had that, and um, it's uh, on with the next adventure. I do say it quite often, but I'll say it again. If you're ambitious, you need to compete with everybody at all levels. And here we are today competing with the likes of big clubs like Darwin, Forest, Leeds, and I could go on.